Finally, I want to go ahead and show you how to export this image. Right now, this is a Photoshop original. It's a .psd. It's useless. It's good for building, so you can build images in .psd, but then you can't take them and put them out on websites. You need to export this as either a .jpg, .jpg, or .jpeg, or a GIF, or a ping, .png. More and more, if you're looking for an image that you want it to be a transparent background, go with ping. It will maintain that transparent um, um, look in the background. P a JPEG, uh, especially if it's photos, is going to be your most, uh, the clearest um, image you have. Uh, GIF, people are getting away from it because of royalty reasons. And usually you'll see that JPEG is more for photos and uh, pings are more for um, uh, clip art, uh, drawn art. Uh, but now you'll just you're finding pretty much it's photos, JPEG, and ping anything that you really want transparency on. This one I'm just going to uh, use JPEG. So how do I do that? I go ahead. I have here's the image I want. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go. Whoops. I'm going to go Photoshop file, save for web. Okay. And then it's going to, here it shows me the original. That's the original, what it looks like. And then it shows me different quality levels. And the higher the quality, the slower the download. The lower the quality, the faster the download. So five second download, you have to think, how many images do I have on my screen? Three second, two second. We, we do have broadband now, so that makes a difference. What if, in, up here you can see it's all JPEGs. Well, you know, what if I do want to take a look at GIF or PING? All it is is click this, click on the one you want to test. I'm looking at five seconds. I'm going to look here for the quality change, see if there is one. Didn't notice much of the quality change. It's definitely much slower. And I can test these other ones. But you know, I think I'm going to stay with the JPEG at five seconds. Because that's actually what it's meant to do. So I'm going to, I'm going to select that one. And now all I have to do is go ahead and hit save and my resort I'm gonna call this how about I'm just gonna call this one uh, my glamping uh, final glamping image perfect I'm gonna save it to that uh, folder that I have on my desktop if I can find desktop if I can find my resort and I'm gonna put it in there there's my final image that and if I go into my resort folder and I go to where's it say final there it is so it's just like the ones I've been making for you all along uh, now you know my secrets now you can go ahead and make these images yourself